I went to school, like I walked maybe like four miles. I didn't have a pair of shoes at all. You belong in our home. No matter what you've gone through, you're not alone. I am here to show you love. You don't have to do anything, you are enough. No, now I am no. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss any of our episodes. We're gonna go somewhere, but I know none of you is wearing shoes, so I would like you to run and get on your shoes. Go, everyone, everyone now. Everyone, go get your shoes. Go get your shoes. pair of shoes when I was almost 17 so I never had a pair of shoes before here's why do you know how far I had to walk to get water yeah. like three to four miles and I never had a pair of shoes what? what yes I went to church I never had a pair of shoes I went to school like I walked maybe like four miles I didn't have a pair of shoes at all all right you remember when you first got a pair of shoes I remember when I, I used to have them when I was 10 I lost them when I got older, but I used to have them. And I had these little tiny Jordans. Jordans, wow. And they're really cute. They're they're purple and black. Oh, wow. How old were you, Anthony? Your first but Which should you remember you had? The first shoe that I remember was like Light Up Sketcher. Light Up Sketcher. Oh. What, 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 shoe was, what shoe was it? The Rainbow Fire one. The Rainbow Fire ones? Yeah. But here's what I'm trying to say. You can have as many pairs of shoes. What? But I think sometimes we forget. Yeah, sometimes we forget to be grateful for even one pair of shoes. Because for me, I didn't have one, but I was always grateful for the first pair of shoes I had. So how many pairs of shoes do you have? Um... Lots of them, right? Yeah. You don't even know the number. How many pairs of shoes do you two have? Two pairs of shoes. What? I have, I have 66. 66 shoes? Yeah, because when my Aunt Jan's Actually, I have here, a 66 too. Well, well. We well. have four Yes, pairs. yes. I want to somehow instill in my kids to be grateful, to be thankful for even the few pairs of shoes you have. And for you watching, for you listening, you know, I want you to go to your closet. Look in your closet. How many pairs of shoes do you have? But how often do you say, man, I'm grateful to have that pair of shoes? We put on the shoes we didn't, we didn't fit um, in a trash bag. Yeah, put them in the trash bag and then we take them to Goodwill so other kids who don't have shoes can have shoes. Living in the United States, like I get to see my kids. I mean, they can choose any shoe they want, you know? They can pick up any they want. Yeah, I want but some I think sometimes I wish I could take them back to other kids who have no shoes so they can see you grow up and all you think about is just a meal. And here you are, here you have so many shoes that sometimes you don't even know how blessed you are. Okay, so I think we are almost there. If I Today I want to take my kids and show them shoes that are like the very first pair of shoes I ever got. Is there tigers there in Africa? Mm, yes. Yay! I get to see both of my favorite animals. Is there unicorns in Africa? What? Unicorns? <laughs> unicorn because I'm wearing them. Yes, I know. I've met a unicorn many times. I've seen a unicorn. Yep. Can you show us one? Well, you have to be sleeping, and then in your dreams, you get to see a unicorn. That's the best way no, I can describe. I yes. never get to see my, a unicorn. Well, like a unicorn. While you're sleeping? No. They come in your dreams. No, you have to show us a real life one in Africa. Oh. Are you joking? Or I am not joking. There are unicorns in Africa. I've seen them. 
They come in all shapes, colors, gender, name it all. I have seen a unicorn. They live with tigers, elephants, and giraffes too, because they are part of the kingdom world. Does unicorns have? Does unicorns have wings? Yes, they have wings. Mm, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, You're thinking one. of a Pegasus. Yeah, that's Pegasus, but that's it's the ones in Africa. They have wings. So those are Pegasus, not unicorns. Oh, maybe I got the wrong one. Most families would make one dollar a day, and that would be to provide for the family. So, think about like saving five dollars at the end of the month. That would be really hard when you're making one dollar a day. So when this man bought me shoes, that really meant so much to me that he gave me a little dignity. You know, that I felt like, oh wow, now I can feel like I belong. Now I can feel like I'm part of this. I think when you don't have and you, you're among people who have things that you don't have, that can really cause you to feel not mad, not that you're jealous, but feel uncomfortable. So giving me a pair of shoes made me feel part of the, the school, made me feel like I belong. When you don't wear shoes for a long time, it creates like, um, I don't know how you call it. What do you call the, the skin under your feet? Calluses. Calluses, yes. I won't feel a thing because my feet were, they had really strong colors that looking back and I'm like, how did I make it? You know, how do you live that kind of life and survive and be healthy and still have a life? You know, I had one pair of clothes that I would wear on Monday to Friday and then I had one pair of clothes that I would wear for Sunday as boys we didn't have like you know like how you have your own hoodie how you have your own shirt yeah. for us we didn't have that we had uh, one pair of like one shirt for all the boys or like one shorts for all the boys but because we are kind of almost the same size we would wear the same the same clothes when I hear you guys say, hey, this is my hoodie, or this is my shoe, of course here you wear different sizes, uh, so that makes sense. But for us, we didn't have those opportunities to have like a, a different type of clothes. When you go to somewhere and you got to work out, you bring your tennis shoes. Yes, I. you know why? why? Because it's required to be in a gym and wear tennis shoes. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show you my first pair of shoes I got when I was little. And then once I show you, if you guys wanna look around, we can look around. Deal? I can be a unicorn. Do you remember? Yeah, I have never forgotten that day. What? I remember the color, I remember what it looked like, I remember the size. Yes, I found the shoe. I found the shoe. Who can guess what shoe it was? It's right here. Who? Oh, it's right here. Bear. Ah, uh, not really. Close. Close. Let's see. Close. This one? No. Converse. Mm, Converse. So, no. Let me show you. So it was. This one. No. This one. This one. No. This one. Hold it. This was the shoe. That's no. the shoes that Anthony has. Yeah, I know. So, but it was blue. This one is black, but it was blue, and this was the first pair of shoes Wait, I ever the got. Blue one? I remember it so well, as though it was yesterday. It is so good to get out of the house together, and it's even better when we can learn from each other. Shoe. So this was my favorite shoe. I remember. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like Anthony, why do you want Converse? Yes, and I found the one. Let's see. All right, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like this. All right, I got my shoes. I don't know how I feel about that. Whoa, they're high. I don't like them. Peter. That's cool. Yeah. Don't look at they the price. Taller, though. I know. Don't look at the price. Yeah, they're cool. Okay, don't look at the price. We don't worry about the price, okay? 
How can I not worry about the price? How, how can I not worry about the price when I'm the one paying for the price? Don't, the... no, don't worry about the price. Don't worry about the price. The price is... I brought them to show them my first pair of shoes ever. I did not bring them to buy. That wasn't in the contract. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> That's a day's wage. <laughs> my life. I think I lost my children. <laughs> Where are the kids? I don't know. Here, can I do this? Can you do this with me? What should no, you? Here. No, oh, you have to have. No, no, no. Here, without them, she better not try to do that. What? Yeah, I know, they're nice. All these little moments make up our lives. Sometimes it is the little things that you don't even think will make a difference that end up making a big impact. And I'm so excited to teach this and to also join my kids as they get to learn about my past. Ah, okay, you missed. Yeah, it's my turn, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> One, ah, ha, ha. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Three, you found out the thing. Four. And that's my turn. It's probably Alright, now it's cold turn. Try this. Then it's a bit of a new turn than my turn. Good job, you get orange. That was quite something. We came in so I can show you what kind of shoe I got as a kid or as a teenager. And then we have drama. Who was crying? Who's crying? Yeah, I want like sunglasses to watch the sun, all that I when we go to the beach. But when um you said no. Well, it's always amazing when you go with kids anywhere, there's always one crying, one happy and one unhappy. That's given. So, today some didn't get a pair of shoes because they didn't need one. Others got. And then others cried for, what did they cry for? Glasses. A case of glasses. Of course, there's no way you can buy the case without the glasses. And he already has glasses, so the drama goes on. Ooh, here we go. I can't wait to go to the beach. When it's summertime? Yeah. Me too. I, I like can't to wait go to go to Tur Myrtle Beach again. Myrtle Beach? Have you been there before? Yes. Who I was I was there when I was four and five years old. When you were four and five, who did you go with? Um, my my friends. Your friends? Huh? Who else? Uh, my cousins. Do you know we're going there this week? Next no. week? Uh, on Monday? Yeah, on Monday we're going to go to the beach and see the water. Do we get to play in the water? Ah, yeah, if it's warm, if you want to. I don't want to, I want to get um, beach supplies. Okay. Wait, she and Kai, wait, a bucket? A bucket, yeah, we'll try to get some there. And guess what? What? You know there, you know there is, there like a tub, there to like, all this here and all. Yes. I don't know if you guys listen to my kids, but they always say, guess what? Before I can guess, they always have an answer. Everything is, guess what, Peter? And then I am about to guess, and then I get the answers. <laughs> so, I never get to guess, even when I'm asked to guess. Guess what? What? Nothing. As false parents, when we get that phone call to go pick up a child, or there's a cat child coming to our home, most time they come back, they come to our home with nothing. Like the last two I had, I mean, they didn't even not have been, they did not even have a pair of shoes. And there's no way you can prepare ahead of time not knowing the child. So as a foster dad, I get to know the two things I like to know. The pair of shoes, the size of clothes the kids need as soon as they come, that we run to the, to the you know, uh, to the grocery store or we run to the store to provide those essential needs. You know, most kids who are neglected, you know, they go to bed hungry 
or they're not sure of where the next meal is coming from. So for us as force parents, when we provide that for them, that really takes off the, the stress and, and the worrisome for the kids uh, to know that I'm here, I am safe, and there's a meal for me. And that really helps them to feel they belong, but also to feel that they are loved and cared for. For many of you, you know me as a dad. You see me every day, you see our kids. And I thought writing a book would be an amazing way to take you back to how far I've come. It's amazing that a kid who didn't, you know, who didn't have a pair of shoes until 17 could be here doing what I'm doing. It's neat to see a kid who grew up with literally no hope that could be here doing the best he can to be the best dad he can. For me, it took one man to buy me a pair of shoes and that really gave me confidence. Today, you can do the same. Maybe buy a pair of shoes someone or a coffee or a phone call. Simple things that truly matter the most. That when people need you, they don't need the big thing. Most of them, they just need those simple things that truly will improve and encourage them in life especially when they're going through a difficult time, that simple things matter. Do you want to teach me how you do ballet? Like, can I teach push? Like, how do I do? Wait, you put one foot here, push, and then yes. turn your foot, like a seven. Like seven. And the other one, spin. I tried. No, now I am not.